Welcome to Preston, Idaho. You might be wondering why we would be coming to Preston, Idaho. But this is actually a place that's on my bucket list because this is where they filmed one of my very favorite movies. And mine. Napoleon Dynamite. We're really excited to go around town and find some of the filming locations from the movie. And we're taking you with us, so let's go. thrift shop. This is where Napoleon buys that flippin' sweet suit. Yeah, and also Daquan's dance moves where he learns his sweet dance moves. That's right. Are there any videos that can teach you how to dance? All right, Keith, what are you getting? Got me a track and field Preston Indians t-shirt. Awesome. Abby, what'd you get? I got two souvenir Preston shirts. Preston and our Preston High School Indians baseball. where Uncle Rico and Napoleon go to shop, and this is where Summer Wheatley works. Oh man, it's totally closed. This is the actual steps um, that's featured in two of the scenes. One where Napoleon is waiting for Uncle uh, Rico to pick him up and he's talking to his new friend. And then the other one is when him and Pedro are talking on the steps. Here we see the bike rack behind us. That's where um, Pedro shows Napoleon his sledgehammer, sledgehammer. <laughs> bike. And that's also the scene where the kid is getting bullied and then uh, Pedro's cousins roll in. <laughs> in their hydraulic lifted hydra car. <laughs> give, the, give the guy the, the eye. <laughs> like, nope. So now we're at the stadium in the bleachers where Pedro and Napoleon really established their friendship. So me and you are pretty much friends by now, right? Yes. So you got my back and everything? What? Never mind. It's also where Pedro decides that he's gonna ask Summer Wheatley to the dance. And how does he decide he's gonna ask her? Hmm. Maybe he'll build her a cake or something. Or something. Um, so let's go over to Summer's house and see where he brings her cake. So you remember the scene where Pedro built Summer a cake and they go to her house and they're hiding in the bushes. So here are literally the bushes out there. Hopefully you can see those. And then... Summer's, Summer's house, house is right there. 
So he runs up to the door and he puts the cake on the doorstep, rings the doorbell, and then they ride away on his on Napoleon's bicycle. It's a big house. Summer's wealthy. Oh no, a bee just came in here. He was fluted. That's a bug. It's a fly. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did you get that on film? <laughs> oh, it's a bee! It was a fly. Well, we've been seeing tons of bees, and earlier this morning a bee came in our car. Are you sure? As you can see behind us, it's the iconic house. It's Napoleon and Kip's house, and Grandma. <laughs> she broke her caucus. I can't believe we're here. I know. It's, it's kind of in the middle of nowhere. It really is. It's beautiful out here though. It is. It's actually really, really pretty. It's a lot prettier in real life than it was in the movie. Yeah. Hey Keith, you think yeah. you could throw a football over those mountains? Back in high school I could have. Back in 82? Back in 82. <laughs> we would have won. We would have been state champs too. You would have been pro. We would have, we would have <laughs> You would have gone pro. We'd live in a big mansion, you know. Hey, over here also is where Tina would have been. Yeah, where Napoleon feeds Tina. Come and get your dinner. <laughs> <laughs> You might recognize the house behind us. This is Pedro's house. This is where he rode his sweet bike, the sledgehammer. Took it off a sweet jump. Took it off a sweet jump. How did Napoleon do on his uh, bike jump? Not so sweet. <laughs> oh. oh, that hurts. <laughs> Kill. <laughs> the tree, if you notice, right here, is quite larger than it was 15 years ago, which would yeah, make sense. Yeah, I mean, 15 years of tree growth right there. It's kind of towering over the house by now but yeah, it was just a baby back then now it's huge but other than that tree the house looks pretty much exactly the same it's super cute around here the high school is in sight it's just at the end of the block and all the houses are really just adorable very well maintained Preston is a it's just a really, really cute little town yeah really cute very quaint Our next stop is at Poppin Pins this is where Kip and Uncle Rico make all those plans to sell some of that polymer. Yeah, and they're gonna make some sweet moolah. That's right. Okay, we are here at Poppin' Pin, and we have the whole place to ourselves. We're in the middle of the afternoon, and it is just Abby and I. Having a little business meeting. That's right. But we have not bowled together in a really long time, so we're gonna, we're gonna bowl a game, and see how we do. Before we do that, check this place out. It looks exactly the way it did. In the movie, it it's hasn't changed. Exactly the same. It's really, really cute. Yeah. but it is a very rural town. And things are a bit spread out. 
very spread out. So if you want to come here and look at the filming locations, it's very doable. There are maps available in town. This is the one that we purchased for what, a dollar, I think? The Yellow Brick Road. Yeah, there's a um, gift shop called the Yellow Brick Road Gift Shop. It was a really cute store. They had some Napoleon Dynamite um, memorabilia, things that you could buy, little souvenirs. And then they also had these souvenir maps. Um, and so we, we purchased one of those. You can find a lot of this information online, but some of the addresses are not right. So um, the map is probably the best way to go. If you are gonna come to Preston and look at these locations, you need to plan a day, like probably most of a day. Um, we got here around, I think 11, and it's now almost five, and we're not quite finished. We only have, we have two more places to look at. And so, we still have a three hour drive. Oh yeah, after this we're driving to uh, Provo. Provo, Utah. Um, so this is our last day in Idaho. It's been really fun. I have loved Idaho. Idaho is awesome. It's a beautiful state. The people are super, super nice. It's beautiful here. It is. It is really, really a nice place. Um, I feel like Napoleon Dynamite, the movie, doesn't do this town justice. It's actually a really cute town and worth visiting. Yeah. The chicken farm is near here. We were consulting the map. So these are the massive chicken houses at this egg farm. Do chickens have large talons? I don't understand a word you just said. to Preston Elementary. Yeah, so that's actually where they filmed the PE scene where they're outside and they're playing the tether ball. Yeah, the iconic final scene of the movie. Oh, I love that. What's his pickup line? I caught you a delicious bass. <laughs> I don't think that would work on me. You don't think it would? <laughs> I don't think so. I'll say I caught you a delicious cup of coffee. Yes, or like a big jar of pickles. Yeah, I caught you a, <laughs> I caught you a delicious pickle. <laughs> That just sounds weird. <laughs> well, Abby, it was a dream come true to come to Preston. This was so much fun. Absolutely. And it's so weird being here, like where they film one of our most favorite iconic movies. I'm walking on Napoleon Street. That's right. Where he dragged his um, Stretch Armstrong doll, doll down the, the <laughs> dirt road here <laughs> where the bus pulled up for school. Yeah, that's a trip. Yeah, it's really cool being here. If you get a chance, come to Preston. Yeah, the people are really nice here. So nice and friendly and everybody we've talked to knows somebody that's in the movie. It's a small town, yeah. so uh, definitely come if you get a chance, but it's not really on your way to anywhere. It's pretty much in the middle of nowhere, so you got to you have to mean. You have to, you be, mean, be, planning you have to be meaning to come here because you don't come here by accident. Yeah, and we've pretty much been swarmed by bees the whole time yeah. while we're here, so there's that. But it's really, really beautiful. I had a delicious baked potato for lunch. It was so Idaho. It was flipping sweet. It has been. All right, hey, thanks for watching our video. Hope you enjoyed a trip around Preston. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And in case we don't see ya, good afternoon. Good evening. And good night from Preston, Idaho.